I was figuring out what I was. I, I you know, I was in uh, what was perceived as a male body. I was attracted to men, and I was very feminine. So I thought, am I gay? Am I, you know, what am I? And um, I was still trying to figure that out very in the closet. Luckily, my last year, two years in the military, I, I served on an Alaskan island in the Aleutian chain, like 1,200 miles out in the Bering Sea, tiny and isolated. And a, a pack of wilderness lesbians took me under their wing, and um, these airplane mechanic uh, women, and they sensed, you know, that I had something going on. And we were all undercover, but in in sort of the Alaskan wilderness, we would go have campouts and um, fires and and just talk and have this underground society. Straight away, when I got out of the military, that's when I started exploring my trans identity. Was there something that awoke the feeling in you that made you realize that you had to do more than just like men, that you had to do something about your own body and how you felt? When I got out of the military, I found a, a show bar and I saw some beautiful, glamorous performers on stage. And it turned out that they were transsexual women. And I, I was just gobsmacked. I thought, wow, you know, it's possible. If they can do it, then why can't I? And so almost immediately, I started apprenticing myself to them, trying to learn their secrets, hovering around their mirrors. And um, I, other women do it different ways, uh, you know, but I'm, I'm a theater person, I'm a showbiz person, so it was sort of a perfect combination for me.